I am sitting here with one of the dopest, unique bands in Southern California. They are Blood Type G. They have a rap rock heart. Now you guys are all about creating an army and I love this, the BTG army. What is the BTG army? The BTG army is rebels with a cause. It started out as a concept for our fans to rally behind essentially. So can anyone be in the army? Well, <laughs> you have to qualify. <laughs> you have to qualify, okay. Yeah, yeah. And mainly it's that uh, we want to be rebels with the cause. Actually, we never set out to be rebels with the cause. We were just passionate. And so sometimes we'd seem like we're being rebellious because we're passionate about a cause. And so depending on what that cause is, people view us as rebellious. And I know there's other people out there who feel the same way. That because they're passionate about something and other people don't necessarily agree with their passion, they look at them as being a rebel. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many causes you guys love and support. And Ella, which one is the one that you guys are focusing on right now? Well, right now we are focusing on a foundation called Rock Against Trafficking. And basically it uses um, media and entertainment to raise funds for um, just to rescue and rehabilitate women and children and um, who have been, you know, sexually trafficked. So, that's yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Uh, we're we're really passionate about that because uh, there's just so many people out there that are suffering that have and have no idea, you know, that these people are right. being that way. For sure. And people don't know that it's a modern day slavery. You know, slavery was abolished, but human trafficking is, is a modern version of that. And so. Um, just like slavery was ended through awareness and people changing their mind and understanding what it is, we want to do the same thing with modern day sex trafficking. That's beautiful. And you guys have been a band, minus Ethan, for yeah. over six years. That's so much longevity. You're such a great addition, by the way. Okay. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> what has kept you guys united as a band, kept you guys strong? For me, as the leader, it's about vision. You know, um, I have to cast the vision that we have to the group, get them on board, get us all on the same page so that we can all be striving towards the same end goal. Yeah, definitely. Unity has been a big part in our ministry and our band. And um, just a lot of bands are out there just, you know, doing it for the money, for the sex, for the mm -hmm. girls, for the fame, just for different reasons. And we're just doing it. We want to reach out to people. And we've just been called to, you know, use these gifts and talents that we've given that God has given us to just reach out to people and just do what we love. So unity, definitely. Yeah. And to, to piggyback what she said about unity, I think in that you need to have good communication. And in that um, communication has been really key in this group, just being open to each other about what's going on and what's coming up and just really just sharing what's on our minds. And, you know, when you keep stuff in, it's just, it's not good. It just, it blows up and it's just never good for anyone. So just us being open is really a huge key to keep us together. That's awesome. And you guys have been together for so long. So I'm guessing you guys had some challenges as any other band would have. Yes. So what is one of the biggest challenges that you guys faced and how did you guys overcome it? I think our biggest challenge was not realizing that we were rebels. What it costs. Yeah, true. Because um, whether we were in a church doing a concert, uh, a youth group, a outreach event, or at a bar, at a concert venue, at a festival, um, there's always somebody that looks at you like, man, you're weird. You know, or like, what, what's this guy's deal? You know? And so we couldn't really figure it out. And we're like, oh, okay. We're rebels with the cause, whether we like it or not. Sometimes people in the church turn their nose up at us. And sometimes people in the world don't get why we're so passionate about something. But when you experience something and it's good, you just want to share it with people. And that's what we want to do. So, you know, um, be, being, in a, being in a band, you guys um, have this unique sound. You guys could collaborate rap and rock together. And so there's other bands that do that. And you guys get compared to um, P.O.D. and Evanescence. But, of course, there's never going to be a blood type G. But how does that make you guys feel when you guys get those comparisons? Well, you know, when we make music, even from the very beginning, it's totally different what people know us t today. I mean, we just make music based off the gifts and talents that we each individually have. And, I mean, it's great to hear that all these people have these 
bands that we sound like, but we don't sit down and like in a circle and get our pens out and like, okay, yeah, we let's, don't let's like sound like, like let's, I'm going to be POD. Today. Yeah. Let's sound like okay, POD. I want to really sound like Sonny and you know, it just doesn't happen. You know, it's, I, we just make music that comes from inside of us and it comes out and you know, it's, yeah, it's it cool. It generally starts with like, kind of like a, a sound that we have been thinking about and then it turns into a concept from there eventually a song yeah and all of us you know we have different styles of music that we listen to on our own time and so you take all of our different styles of music that we like to listen to and you put them together and you get blood type g love it love it you guys are a band you know that are unashamed about your faith i love that and then also you have this ability to be loved and respected and people really enjoy your music whether it's on the mainstream level or the christian level and i love that you can tap into both markets you can one day be at a church and the next day be at a bar so i wanted just to hear from you guys like why you guys hit both outlets and what that means to you guys well i just think that uh we don't want to be limited. We want everyone to hear the good message that we have. Pretty much everyone here in this line has a story. Everyone has a story, in fact. And uh, we just want to impact as many people as possible. So we don't want to, like, say, oh, we're just going to play for church or, oh, we're just going to play for bars. We want everyone. We want to meet everyone. That's that's the true statement. You know, it's all about the people. We're We're trying to reach out to the people. And so, you know, like, when we're done playing, I'll go talk to people. That's, like, the main reason I go, so. It's good. Yeah, definitely, and just um, to piggyback on what you were saying, the people, 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 and that, people. that's just our, <laughs> that's our target, you know, and so what people are into is music, so we're going to take advantage of that and take advantage of our gifts and the music industry right now and reach those people. So what's next for Blood Type G? What are some short-term goals, some long-term goals? Short-term goals, studio. We got some new music coming up, and we're really excited about it, and uh, we just want to get on it ASAP. Nice. Dig it. Yes. Yeah, will. and um, for long-term goals, we want to do a tour, book a tour, and just either go you know, Southern California, we want to do, you know, United States. Anywhere that'll happen. Anywhere. The like, whole world. We would love to just get out there and just play. Let's go. How can we follow you guys and connect with you guys? Well, our music is on iTunes. We have Spotify. You could follow us on Facebook, Twitter. We also have an Instagram. It's at Blood Type G Music. Make sure you check out our videos on YouTube at Blood Type G Band as well. You know, and there's this day and age we get to call the hashtag. We have a few of those. Oh, the, <laughs> hash, the symbol. Um, so we got hashtag Blood Type G, hashtag BTG Army, hashtag Rebels with the Cause, and last but not least, Hashtag rap rock heart. Love hashtag it. hair whip. Hashtag oh, do we do Ella right now? loves do we do hair Charles. Do you, do you, do you <laughs> do you? Hashtag yeah. Britney looks beautiful. Thank you. Hashtag <laughs> stop talking. Hashtag. <laughs> the real true black. colors come out. Hashtag all black. All day. Hashtag all day. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> you got no it with hashtag that. blessed. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I had so much fun with you guys. I love you guys. You guys have great personalities. You guys all have something different to offer. I, you know, can't wait to see the things that are going to come from you guys, the music that's coming out, the tours. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Appreciate you. <laughs> Bring the time,